What's going on guys? So we're back again with another gameplay video. This time we have Perth Pro Players team member Jason Stubbs here on the left playing Invoker 17. And we have Patrick here on the right playing Red Sin Shenron. So just before we get started into the gameplay video, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors. Team Card Titan. So if you guys want any DBS Seal products or DBS singles, make sure you check out that link in the description below. And also Beyond in Balcata. So if you're in the local area, make sure you come down and check out the store. They got something for everyone tabletop games tcgs dnd whatever you want come check it out so um i feel like invoker it's not seeing a hell of a lot of play it's a very interesting deck very interesting play style i believe this is a blue red and i think there are some invoker cards i'm not too sure how much um i definitely definitely know we have the new extra card um which allows us to charge blue red energy um and then we have sin here which obviously we know exactly what Sin does. Does it's absolutely ridiculous. Everyone's calling for a ban, and I think hopefully it does actually happen because I feel like if not, it kind of is just going to keep going for the foreseeable future because it's very strong. Pat has, I believe, maybe like three or four in hand. Looks like we're just going to go the four. We're going the old Dragon Ball style. We're going five. Didn't get the last one unless we do have a card that gets the last one, but I don't think it's worth awakening just here. I think we just leave it. So there is always that debate, right? Whether do you just keep drawing if you know that you've got your four established turn one? Do you keep drawing or do you just leave it so that uh, you guarantee you're just going to get your last two in the deck in the in the next turn, right? There's always that potential. But um, we are going to swing, it looks like here, we're going to combo one. We're just going to protect that. Obviously, being at six already, not ideal, but... Not the end of the world either, because we are going to put a lot of aggression on in this turn if we can. So hopefully we've got a decent enough hand. Let's go and grab ourselves a two more Dragon Balls. We've only got one, sadly, in the deck. Uh, and that's always that debate of whether you keep drawing or not, right? Or there's a potential that Pat maybe left it in life. Um, we do have five now. So we could technically awaken on this sixth Dragon Ball. Um, and then leave the last one in life. There is always that potential. I, I doubt he has that. I'm assuming he's got it in hand. Maybe. Maybe I'm very, very wrong. And he does actually have it in life, and he's just left it in there on purpose so he didn't have to go down three. And I respect that as well. I think that's definitely a good choice. Um, this deck can kind of pop off quite a lot. And going down to five straight away on turn one is rather scary. So... Hopefully we have something to play. Now we do have, I definitely can see a Gohan just there. Uh, plus we have Carbers, but obviously Carver taking a life is an ideal right now once we're down at six already. Um, could be rather scary. So it's going to be interesting to see. But it looks like we're going to hit, we're going to play a Carver. Uh, we're going to do the Awaken on lead. We're going to swing in, we're going to draw one. Quite nice here. Obviously putting that pressure straight away with this leader. We're just going to take that damage. Just straight up. We are going to go for Carlo. We're going to use the effect. Putting that pressure on early. Now, are we going to combo out? Do we just leave? Looks like we are just going to take that damage going down straight away. Pat is thinking if he wants to do anything else this turn, obviously having two energy left up. A few things you can always do, right? We've got the Sin, it looks like the Sin promo. We've got that in hand, so we can just play that out if we want. Um, there's obviously the other Sin that is a one cost double striker at the end of the day, which is quite nice too. So it looks like we are going to play this promo out. Are we going to swing in is the question, or do we just leave that up? Because I believe, if I remember right, it is a blocker, which is quite nice. So if we do leave it standing up, we do have a little bit of protection. It looks like that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, just charging here on Stubb's side. Uh, obviously deciding against what he put down. It wasn't ideal, hopefully. Uh, we have something a little bit better. So we are just going to put down the, the the Gohan 
I think that's from the collectors. I cannot remember what card it is off the top of my head, and I do apologize. Um, looks like we're going to swing into Carba just here, which is pretty understandable. Draw a card. Now, uh, I believe the Awaken is a Z battle card with an energy cost of, I think it's two. Um, I think it's the Gohan, or it's, it's going to the 17, and that allows you to Awaken, but I'm pretty sure it's a Z battle card. Um, so it looks like we are not going into that right this second. It looks like from the two energy up. Probably going to leave some defense standing up. I would say obviously going to be very, very aggressive this next turn, which is going to be rather scary. Doing what he needs to do, though, um, and just being a little bit safer. Looks like we have got a rival cooler in, in hand just there, if I can see that correctly, which is pretty nice. So we are going to charge up to three so I'm going to be surprised if we don't get a little bit more aggressive going into this turn. I'll be very, very shocked. Yeah, so we're going into the big eight cost just here. There's obviously two energy. So we're going to swing in, going for a super combo. So we're really going to make sure this connects as much as possible, it looks like, just here. Now, the big thing is whether we've decided to minus or not. Obviously, that kind of shuts off Cooler doing too much if we have minus. If we haven't minus, because then minus is at pluses it by 5k, which is quite nice. Um, really, really strong there for Pat. Obviously, makes it a little bit better. So it's going to be interesting to see. I don't know if he ha he has minus. I don't know if he's expecting a cooler either, because I probably wouldn't expect cooler in um, a deck like this, realistically. So let's see what Stubbs decides to go for. But triple strike, massive. All right, going down to two. Rather scary. He's got a fat hand. Obviously, he just double sleeved. Um, but we've got a fat hand going on right now. So rather scary, scary, scary zone for um, Stubbs. So he does have his Awaken, of course, which is quite nice. So if he needs to Awaken, we do have access to that. We only got one energy, though. So we do have a Double Strike, of course. Um, we could do Sin. We could do the, the Gohan. We could even just swing in our leader just here. Just force another card from here, because I don't think we want to go down to one, that's for sure. Looks like we are going to go for our Freezer. So comboing our Freezer, and then we're going to put in the new extra card. Um, I can guarantee that's exactly what it is, the new extra card. And then that allows us to like, get that blue-red energy into our energy, which is quite nice here. Uh, so 20... 25, we then have an arrival, of course. I would just I would dare say we're gonna do an arrival cooler just here. No, we're gonna arrival uh Android 17 instead. I was very wrong. So I'm gonna arrival Android 17 instead. Now this is the one that has the invoker as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, and that's what we want. So um, I don't know if anyone saw before, but Stubbs did in fact have some sleepy boys in his hand before, right? Which is pretty sneaky. Uh, obviously very, very good. Going to give him quite a lot of control. Plus that draw back up, uh, keeping that hand pretty fat. Um, so if he does, he does keep this on board and gets these sneaky boys going, sleepy boys going, sorry, not sneaky boys, uh, it's going to be very, very strong. So uh, we do get our search just here. It looks like we're going to grab another multi-17. Once again, very good to set up against this deck. So we have to get some minuses going, like some pretty strong minuses going. Um, and that shouldn't be too difficult. Now, I believe, yes, we're at 25. So we're definitely comboing out of that. Sorry, we're at 20. So we're definitely comboing out of the 15. Stubbs obviously wants to save his Awaken uh, for his turn, if possible. 
Now we are tapped out. So Pat's deciding, does he go ham or not? And that is a great question. It looks like we are just going to pass turn. Now I wonder if Pat played the Gohan and swung through, would he have been in a good spot? Because it looks like Jason has a lot of extra cards in hand. Um, but obviously he's not to know that right there. So he doesn't know that at all. So we are going to, I dare say, we'll add the extra card into our energy, I would think, at some point. We still have to awaken as well. So we do get one energy back. I don't think we'll go into the Z, but we'll see what he decides to do. I think it's probably better to keep the energy up for the uh, extra cards. And obviously, as I said, Sleepy Boy going to be very, very strong. as draw two cards there to bounce things. Um, potentially bounces that sin quite easily. Uh, again, we don't draw on the backside, which hurts of this leader, unless you're swinging with a Z battle card, I think. And that's not ideal. It kind of means that our hand's going to get a little bit lower. But let's see what Pat decides. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's see what Stubbs decides to do here. I assume we swing in with leader. We may do our awaken. But we are going to lose a bit of value unless we can play something out. May even just save the awaken for the opponent's turn. We'll see what he decides to do. Uh, looks like Rival Seekers are now live as well. So that's kind of nice here. The Rival Seeker is definitely very nice. Being able to just combo that for free. We've got an extra card in our drop. And then we are going to play out, it looks like, the cooler. Minusing but plusing. Very interesting to see whether he has more minus or not. And if he's going to try to kill the card. Looks like we are going to hit shield. So shield is going to allow us to minus 15. And it does also top 5 for uh, a freezer clan. So there is that potential that we go and grab another cooler. Or another shield and we get free combo. Because we do have a multi in our energy just now. So let's see what we go for. Uh, sadly, looks like nothing. Again, there's not probably not many Freezer Clan in the deck, if I'm honest, um, that is being ran. So we do have just established that. We have swung in now for 25k into our leader. Do have a double striker um, on board. I believe we have two double strikers. Yes, we have two double strikers on board. So we've got uh, 17 and cooler. Uh, and shield is just dual attack and blocker. So I think we go up to uh, 35 just now. I believe the extra card gives it a 10k. Um, so we get decent, decent amount just there of combo. We're going to swing in for our 19, I believe it is, I think, on this one. Um, so Pat will have to combo out if he wants. I definitely think it's probably a good idea. Obviously, putting that aggression back on, I really respect this from Stubbs. Um, really just forcing him to use some cards. And then the good thing is obviously he's going to establish his red-blue energy, right, uh, with his extra cards. And the fact that he can do that is going to have access to his sleepy voice. is going to be very, very strong uh, going into this next turn. Obviously, he's going to have that Android 17 still live. Unless he can clear the 17 very easily, it's going to be a tough slog, that's for sure. So Pat's thinking about taking this damage. It looks like he's going to take this damage. So he really wants Stubbs to overcommit, it looks like, just here. Ooh, so we're going to go into our Z leader. Very interesting choice. So yeah, we're going to go into our Z. Um... We do need that last Dragon Ball, though, I believe, to get the full effect, because I think you have to remove the Dragon Balls to get uh, the free play on the Sin Shenron leader, I, I think. But we are at least... Yeah, so at least higher. So it must be a 20 
So we are going to go 25. So I'm assuming no, no super combos in hand, and that's probably why. Looks like we are going to hit the bin chicken, the old rage, um, allowing us to do a free negate, and then we've got a blocker, and we've got crit as well, which is quite nice. We're going to swing in a double strike. We're just going to block to stop that from happening. Save is having to combo out. Because it is a 25k as well on this Android 17. We are going to replace our energy with the red blue. Now comes the fun. So it's going to be quite nice here for Stubbs, right? It's going to be tough here for Pat, especially because uh, he isn't going to know that th this is coming. I don't think this is something that would be played very often. Um, probably hasn't seen it in a while as well. Um, but it's going to be very, very good. So, Sleepy Boy, what it does. So, it negates the attack, draws two cards, and then choose one of your opponent's battle cards and return it to its owner's hand. So, if he commits into a sin, um, we can kind of fluster him and, and push it back into his hand with the Sleepy Boy. Plus, we're going to draw two cards, which is really, really nice. Uh, so, the fact that he can do that would be great. So it looks like we are going to swing in with 20. Good thing here as well is Stubbs has a bean in hand. So if we send two bean, untap an extra energy, access to two sleepy boys just here because we do have Invoker live on the board. And I guess the big problem is, is that we have to get into our combo step to really get a decent minus on the Invoker, uh, which is going to hurt quite a lot. So he can play Gohan, I guess, go to 20, um, and then get rid of the Invoker, but he's probably feeling like it's not really that worth it. Um, so it looks like maybe we are going into... No, I would just say we're going into the leader here. Not 100% where it went, and I do apologize. Uh, I would assume that that's going into leader, though, because we have gone to 25, obviously, with the effect of Android 17. And then we are going to be taking it up to uh, 30k, right? Which gets it out plus two energy, which means plus two sleepy boys, uh, which is very scary. I think we're thinking about hitting this eight cost just here, which is understandable. Um, I think that's the play for most people here, is go into that eight cost. Uh, and swing in because that is obviously a very good card. You're not expecting Sleepy Boy, if I'm honest. I don't think many people would play that um, or expect it. So I definitely think it's a calculated thing to do is to go into your 8 cost. So let's see what Pat decides to do here. So it looks like we are going to go for a 1 drop here instead to go the Oceanus maybe. Maybe doing the last Dragon Ball, potentially. Nope, so it looks like we still must be one in life that we just haven't seen. And Pat just didn't want to take down four. Uh, it must be. Sad thing is, obviously, we don't have it in our drop area, so we can't use the full effect of our leader, because I'm pretty sure we have to remove the six. But it looks like we are going to do the minus. So dual attack, I believe he has blocker as well. Uh, so it looks like we are going to get rid of Cooler. We're going to get rid of the Dragon Balls. We're going to play a Omega from hand. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe we did have the Dragon Balls. Sleepy Boy is slapped down straight away. Absolutely insane. I think Pat's probably a bit flabbergasted, to be fair. <laughs> Which is very understandable right now. You know, you're not expecting a Sleepy Boy to hit the board. Uh, so, Stubbs gets to draw two cards as well, right? And I know we got a second Sleepy Boy in hand too. But it looks like we're just going to play it down again. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to get Sleepy Boy again. Um, so, we're going to draw two cards. We're going to regas quite a lot. And I think there was only two I saw in hand. There could be a third. I don't know. Um... But we definitely need to defend here on Pat's side. So I think scary thing is we've got a little bit of control of this game here on the Invoker side. Yes, we've taken a lot of damage. Yes, we're down at two life. But 
I feel like we're definitely in a very good position just here uh, and a very scary position for Pat. We've just gone to four energy. Um, so we're still off our SCR, and I did see the SCR in hand. We do have the cooler SCR, uh, which would be quite nice, but it looks like we are just off, obviously one energy off. I think putting pressure though, very, very strong. Forcing Pat to combo out means that there's less things that he can attack with. Um, and it looks like we do have a lot of defense on the Invoker side, and that's great here uh, for Stubbsy. It's exactly what he wants to see. He wants to see that defense as much as he can. Obviously, Sleepy Boy, just absolutely insane. Um, it looks like we're going to go to 25. We're going to put in an extra card. I mean, once again, assuming it's going to be one of the new extra cards. Uh, it looked like we did also have another Sleepy Boy in deck. I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I just saw a sleepy boy while shuffling, right? Um, very, very strong card. Looks like we're going to do another arrival. What are we going into? Another invoker? Yeah, another invoker 17. So we're going to go our red blue. Still two energy left up. Now, I do believe... I don't, I don't think there'll be a response, but we do obviously have access to our Gohan, so you do have to ask, of course. Looks like we are going to hit our Gohan, which is fair enough. Are we going to hit any response to the Gohan? Looks like we're not, but guess what we're going to find off the top. We're going to go for a good, good search just here. We're going to get another, I think. Sorry, nope, Sleepy Boy. We're going to grab a Sleepy Boy, which is really, really nice. Um, I, I initially thought, I'm pretty sure it is just extra cards that we can grab. Um, and I initially thought that would be the ideal choice is the old Sleepy Boy just there. Just so we can pretty much stifle the whole next turn too. Um, and now Pat has to be scared of that as well, right? So he does have to be afraid of Sleepy Boy happening. The only thing is, I'm not sure what... Not sure what SCR Pat's running either. So if he does run the Vegeta... There is that potential that we can just go hard on uh, the leader attack or something along those lines and just try to force the damage through. Obviously, leader attack will take the two life because we do have a double strike, but if we get something else established, we can just try to get that through um, and then maybe burn the last life potentially. But let's see what Pat is going to do here this turn. We have just established a Gohan on... Stubbsy side, I believe we have our 3Z energy, um, which is really nice. Obviously, we're going to replace an energy for a multi going into this next turn. Exactly what we're going to do just here. So we're going to use the effect of Android 17, and we're going to do the two combo just here by discarding, I believe it's discarding a U7. And then we get it. We're on a Dragon Thunder. We're going to go up to 25. We're going to go up to 30. Right, which gets us out of that. Quite nice just here. Quite a good card. Haven't seen this in a little bit of time. But very, very strong card and showing why it's so strong. We are going to tap out. And what are we going for? Looks like we're going to go for this freezer just here. Now, I'm not too sure off the top of my head what this freezer does. But I feel like it's scary. Um, I have no clue, unfortunately, exactly what it does, though. So, let's see... What stuff he does. It looks like we're just going to load up a pass turn. I have a feeling in my head, I have a feeling like it's a blocker. Um, and that's why he's just establishing it. Obviously, this means we have to deal with more things. We have a Gohan. We have a Freeze that he has to deal with. Both have blocker. Um, if so, which is really, really nice because then that's forcing two cards. Means that we can't just swing in with leader and then just win the game. Uh, plus, it's kind of putting his back against the wall. The fact that if he puts something down, we know we've got a Sleepy Boy in hand. So we have to play around this Sleepy Boy just here, right? Which is rather scary as well. So, interesting to see what Pat does. Definitely going for that charge, right? There's no point not to have that extra energy this turn. I think we will kind of need it, I have a feeling. Um, I think we're going to need to be able to apply some pressure. So we are going for Vegeta. It looks like just here. Oh. <laughs> the thing I'm thinking as well, and it, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I think we just have to burn. I don't, knowing that Sleeper Boy is in hand, 
You definitely don't want to just waste that into a sleepy boy because that would be absolutely horrible. We do just have to kind of burn that life just there. Right. Yep, yeah, choosing that. It's going to be a 5K. All right, now, can Pat pull it through now? We've got one life. Obviously, we've still got to negate that. We've still got Sleepy Boy, sadly, right? It's not that you can't negate this swing. You can still definitely negate this swing. Um, and we do have our Invoker still on the board just here. So let's see what happens. And he negates first. I'm assuming Sleepy Boy. Yeah, although it's not ideal here for Pat. Obviously, he would want something a little bit better. He still gets his draw. Now, the question is... Can he close out with his one energy? Can he apply enough pressure, which he can? Obviously, this 20k double strike, quite strong here. He's got his 3z, but he does only have, it looks like, two cards in hand, which isn't very many, and Stubbs has quite a few cards in hand just here. We do have Super Combo hitting a, another card to combo. Ooh, and then two dead cards. Do we have a cooler? No, we've got two Super Combos, though. Get to untap both. 25, 35, which gets us out. Ooh, so not great here for Pat, unfortunately. Does really suck. And we are going to bean. Right, sorry, we're, going, we're at 35. We are going to chilled. And we're going to minus 15. So we're well and well and truly out of it. We're going to top five, find a freezer clan. So Pat is in a difficult spot just here. Only one card left in hand. I believe it's negate, right? So maybe used at the right time, it could be okay. Still very scary. Charging up to fives. Now, I know what we've got in hand. We do have the cool SCR in hand. Uh, Pat's got one card in hand. We're gonna swing twice with this. We are going to take this life. Let me guess, probably a Dragon Ball. And then we're gonna hit the cooler. And then sad times will ensue because we're definitely going to get enough swings through just here just with the z energy alone that's in there and then restand which is just absolutely insane right we should just be closing out the game so we 100 percent no there's no way we can come out of this obviously 40k uh that is definitely game just there and we can put a million swings in right now so sin general getting taken down by invoker obviously sleepy boy technique Absolutely slept on card. Absolutely insane. Um, being able to establish that invoker just early really, really put uh, the pressure on. And I think it's 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 the how you play this deck and how you get around it. And Subs has been playing it a little bit, obviously having a lot of fun with it. I think it's very, very strong. I think he's done a great job. Um, and I really, as I said, really, really like that Sleepy Boy technique, being able to pop things back into that hand, which is absolutely insane. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to subscribe. Hit that bell to stay notified. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.